Welcome to Standard Heat of Formation. We've looked at the energy changes that accompany reactions such as this one. We know that a negative delta H means that this is an exothermic reaction that releases heat. And we could also represent this writing heat as a product and making this a thermochemical equation, like this. Now because the amount of heat released by a reaction, or absorbed for endothermic, depends on the temperature the reaction takes place at, this heat data is reported for specific conditions. And those specific conditions are called the standard state. The standard state for heat data is 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. When the heat data is reported at this standard state, we put a little notation next to the delta H that looks like this. This little symbol tells us that this reaction is at the standard state, 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. This new symbol now means the standard heat of reaction as opposed to a regular heat of reaction. And we read this symbol as delta H naught. The superscript zero is read as naught. One specific version of this standard heat of reaction is the standard heat of formation. This standard heat of formation is defined as a change in heat, or enthalpy, that accompanies the formation of one mole of a compound at the standard state conditions. So if we look back at this earlier reaction, that shows hydrogen and oxygen reacting to form water, we see that the standard heat of reaction is negative 483.6 kilojoules. But this is for the formation of two moles of water. And it's actually gaseous water, so that would be water vapor. Standard heat of formation is for one mole. So what I can do is I can divide everything here by two. Dividing this by two gets rid of it. I have half an oxygen. Dividing this by two gets rid of that coefficient. And I would also divide the heat data by two and that would give me negative 241.8 kilojoules. Now this heat data is associated with the formation of one mole of water vapor. So this is the standard heat of formation for H2O as a gas, water vapor. It's important to note that this is sometimes called the molar heat of formation because it's the heat of formation per mole. And we would write this as negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Now typically these standard heats of formation can be found in data tables, reference tables. Here's an example of a table that shows thermochemical information such as standard heat of formation. We can see we have several substances shown here with standard heats of formation for each one. The one important thing I'm going to point out for tables like this is that you'll note that elements that are in their most stable form, so hydrogen as a gas, oxygen as a gas, bromine as a liquid, those are their most stable forms, their standard forms, their heats of formation are arbitrarily set to zero. We define the standard heat of formation for an element in its most stable form as zero kilojoules. That wraps up our lesson on standard heat of formation. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.